I'm an environmental photographer. But honestly, I don't expect you to care about any of that. This is about the images. This is about the sounds. This is a story about living among people. And yet having easy access to a place where I am the only people. We call this place the Little Colorado River. Being as it is, a major tributary winding across the painted desert to the other, big brother, Colorado River. But names are just names. Before that river was called the Colorado, it was called the Grand. From which we get the Canyon of the Grand, or the Grand Canyon. And a bunch of little place names. Grand View. Grand Junction, Grand Falls, and the like. So I guess you could say that today we're down in the Grande Pequeño. The Rio. the most significant local geographic feature the only significant man-made structure within visual distance is that tall bridge up there I don't know if you can even see it Maybe you can detect the motion of the cars going by on it. I also think that fairly recently, if you look at the tire tracks, especially the ground up, wet, muddy ones in the middle distance, that there has been someone down here recently in their truck trying to fight their way down river for reasons probably not too dissimilar from my own But for the most part, this is simple perfection. This will be the last installment in this series. Not to say that I'll never show you 
another picture of the Pequeño Grande or that I'll never film another hoofing walk. I'm sure all those things will happen. But the major story of these last couple of weeks and this series has been finding the way. Finding the way to the hell out of the way. It is now found. I can make use of it. And so we will move on to other subjects. I will continue to walk. Sometimes it'll be down here. to hear a whole lot more of what I'm doing right now. This kind of meta. And so in this moment of tranquility and serenity, On the day before, we start driving places again, going places, doing the things. Let's just let the moment be enough. Let's just turn our gaze downriver. Let's just listen to that breeze in the cottonwood tree. Let's observe the trickling of the ripple. of the mud chips underfoot.
Edward Abbey wanted to call his best book Desert Solipsism. But his publisher said they didn't think anybody knew what a solipsism was. So they made him change it to the more accessible desert solitaire. But what he was doing up in Utah What I am doing, what we are doing here today is the very opposite of a card game. I hope that you come back here with me. I hope that you decide to take in this view again, to listen to my murmur before you sleep. I think I might do the same. just to remind myself of this solitude of this security of this reminder that such blessings still abide far away from the siren song. sleeping. I don't want to wake you. So I'm going to keep my voice real low. On the way back out, I just wanted to show you how to get there. Where the portal the door in the tree.